Last episode, I introduced the Ember Data Model State Explorer, which helps you explore different states within the Ember Data Model and the different flags that you can have on each. Today, we're going to dig deeper into the source code in states.js, and this is where I got all the information to create the Model Explorer. So I'll go over the general structure of the states file. Let's get started. So most of the data in states.js is based on these hashes. So the root state is one of the hashes. It contains most of the other hashes. And it starts off by having all the flags as false, except is valid, which is true. Then below this, we get our first event definition. Here it's a default event, which is just a plain function. And then underneath that, we have a definition of unload record. Remember, unload record, it's not an event, it's a method that you can call on a model. So this is the default one, and you can see that it is redefined in several other states. So based off that, you can see that in different states, calling the same method may do different things. Even though generally it'll look the same to a user because it would be a bad API if it didn't. All right, so inside this default unload record, you'll notice that we have our first transition to. And remember, that's a private method, and we're transitioning to deleted.saved. All right, so the default is if you unload a record, that's the state it goes to. All right, so we scroll down, and we're getting to some substates. Here's the empty substate. That is one without any child states. And the big difference is the is empty is true. The flag is true. And then it has some other events defined. These events, of course, typically include a transition to, as well as some other work that they do. Right, we scroll down and we have the loading state. And it'll set the is loading flag to true. And then it'll once again, it'll define some more events. And then it defines the exit method, which is presumably used when you're exiting the loading state. Now we'll scroll down and here where things are getting more interesting because we have loaded and then it has even more nested stuff like saved. And we have an additional property called initial state. And here it's saved. So if you transition to loaded, then it's actually transitioning to loaded.saved. I think that's how that works. And so uh, another fun thing about reading the source code is that you get to know what things people aren't sure about. And this is definitely not in the docs. All right, so when we get into save, saved, which is a subset of loaded, so we're in root.loaded.saved now. And it looks like we've got some setup to do, and then, of course, defining events. A lot more here than there were in the last few. All right, and here it gets a little bit more interesting because we have the created state and the updated state, and those are created elsewhere. So remember that. These are created elsewhere. We're going to come back to those. First, we're going to go through deleted. So deleted, a lot of it is the same story. You'll notice that we have the dirty type as well. We mentioned that in the last episode. And its initial state is uncommitted. And so we set certain flags. It goes to uncommitted. It sets up more events. And in flight, once again, sets up flags, sets up events. Saved, invalid, same thing. All right, so that's the end of the file. Now let's go back to where our created state and updated state are. So created state and updated state are both built off something called dirty state. And they have a few differences. One of the big ones is their dirty type as well as a few extra things that are changed. Looks like these are events that are changed. Let's go ahead and find the dirty state and see what's there. So it's defined up here, and the initial state is uncommitted, and so that goes for both the created and updated substates within loaded. This is a very similar story to what we had before. We're setting flags, and then we're setting events. And a lot of this is really similar to what we saw in deleted and its substates. And 
I guess the reason why they didn't do dirty state for deleted as well is because these go to committed by default and deleted goes to saved. And these saved is coming off of unloaded, not off of here. I'll show you. Deleted has saved, whereas for the loaded created and loaded update, saved is up a level under loaded. And so that is our deep dive into states.js. As you can see, we're getting back to the root state here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it makes you more confident in digging into the source code as well as understanding the states and flags in Ember data models.